Hi guys, so I am attempting to vlog. I haven't vlogged since Disneyland. Um, that was like in the beginning when I started my YouTube channel. I think it's been like seven months now. And um, I thought this would be an interesting time to vlog because I um, am recovering from getting my gallbladder removed. So tomorrow is officially one week since I've had it removed. And I'm doing okay. Like, I'm actually able to get out of the house for a couple hours at a time. I feel like at times I have to come home and, like, lay down um, horizontally for, you know, a short period of time to just sort of rest. But sitting up and standing for a long period of time, I get kind of exhausted. And um, But I think I'm doing good. And it's nice to get out and walk around for a little bit. So... I think I'm gonna go get my nails done. I haven't had my nails done in like over three weeks. So hopefully this vlog won't be too boring, but I have a lot of time on my hands because I can't go back to work for two weeks or another week after this. So maybe some exciting things will happen. <laughs> and, um, and a lot of you have been requesting me to do vlogs and it's um, more personable. So you guys will get to know me a little bit more naturally through vlogs, so yeah. So I quickly wanted to show you my outfit of the day, just a band tee, it says the police. Um, it's really cute and comfortable. This is from M. Frederick, but obviously I went ahead and did my own destruction to it. I have to deface every single band tee I get, it's just so annoying. And my Jumanji Antigone, you guys already probably saw my pre-fall haul. And my Jeffrey Campbell Mules, which I'm about to change out of into just like regular ugly flip-flops because I'm going to go get my nails done. So yeah, and my shorts, my jean shorts that I live in every single day of the summer. So I felt fine after getting my nails done enough to go run a couple errands. So I stopped at Off Fifth and I ended up picking up a little, a really cute, um, another one of this. It's this brand that I got my other poof by. Actually, I ordered it from Neiman's last call, but I guess, I guess um, All Fifth has them too. It's this brand, and it's really, they feel really good. It's in the fox fur, um, which I'm hoping was just sheared off, not killed for, but I'm probably going to get hate for that, but um, it's just such, it's just such a pretty color, and they had different colors, and um, just because I like the bright one that I have by this brand on my Neverfull. It looks really good on the brown. Um, Damier Aven. And um, here are my nails. They turned out really, really good. I love them. So now I'm going to go to Nordstrom's. I really want to get a perfume and a lip balm. I still feel good enough to stand up for maybe another hour or two. And then I'm just going to go home and rest. Um, and what else? I don't know what I was going to say. Oh, I got a new car, which I'm so excited about. I wish I was more excited about it when I got it, but I was so focused on my surgery and I was really scared about my surgery that I couldn't be as excited as I'd want to be. And um, now I finally get to really enjoy it because I got it only a few days before I had surgery. So after my surgery, it's then now been a week since I've been able to actually drive my car. I love it. It's the Audi Q3 in 2016 and it's so beautiful. I named her Queen. I'm just obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with my car. I'm really, really happy with it. And yeah, so let's go to Nordstrom's. Thank you.
turn down the air because I feel like you can't hear me. Um, so I went to Nordstrom's and I got what I wanted. And then of course I get distracted and I have to go into Forever and Zara and I'm, I just annoy myself because I always tell myself, just go in for what you need. And I'm sure that's everyone's story, right? So my lips were super chapped this morning and I told myself I need to invest in the Chanel Rouge Cocoa, I think this is what it is, the hydrating um, lip balm. I've applied it twice since I've been at the mall and my lips already feel amazing and I don't want to like run out of it because it's already like an excessively expensive lip balm but it was in desperate need and I swear to you it's already like worked really well so I'm obsessed with this so got the Chanel um, hydrating lip balm from Nordstrom's then which by the way um, my sister's so sweet when I had my surgery she sent me a really really cute get well card it wasn't it wasn't cute it was actually really funny and it said like I'm sorry you have the icky poos in your stomach and then when you open it, it said maybe you have to take a shit but she's just she's so funny so um, I went there to get a perfume and it was between it was between st. Laurent black opium or the Tom Ford um, vanilla cigarette smell I forget that there's like a more fancier name for it but um, the Tom Ford one's so expensive and um, I, I didn't want to spend too much over the gift card that my sister gave me um, in the get well card that she got me so I ended up getting the st. Laurent black opium and at the end of the day I walked around Nordstrom's with one on either arm and the black opium actually stayed on me longer which is weird longer than the Tom Ford one which I would think it would be the opposite um, so they were having a special they actually I got for like I think it was a, the price for five dollars more of what I would spend on this one um, it also came with a smaller one which I'm so glad because I was actually gonna throw this in my purse I do not care um, I'm actually gonna keep this one in my purse and then obviously this one um, at home so I'm really really glad I got that and it's just smells so it's a very mature smell but it smells so amazing let me take it out because I feel like I have to like be sniffing it to like explain it if that makes sense okay so annoying okay so one of my favorite scents is jasmine and that's one of the oh my god it just smells it's really warm and like sweet floral i don't know it just smells so effing good oh my gosh it just yes oh my gosh yes this is like amazing it smells so good i'm putting this in my purse right straight away um, okay, so that's that. Then, of course, I had to stop into Forever 21 just because lately, just because, I don't know, I like buying, like, their cheap little t-shirts, which this, I thought this was really cute and simple. This was on sale, which I didn't even notice until, actually, I got up to the register. It's just a white, I'm obsessed with linen shirts right now. Cause I like the weight of them I like the way they lay on my body for my body shape so it's just a white linen shirt with a black I mean it was $6.99 and I got it in a large I liked the oversizedness thought that was really cute and then I got a cheap little choker I'm sweating it's 103 degrees and I'm literally sweating in the car showing you guys this in the parking lot and people probably think I'm crazy but oh well and then I got this really cute choker it's a little now that I'm looking at it it's it's a little bondagey but I don't dress bondagey so it's not gonna look bondagey um, I got that and then went to Zara and got some really I have like only one pair of blue denim I used to have more blue denim but what happens is when they like start getting like I don't know faded or turning a color I don't really like I end up dyeing them black so I felt like I needed another pair of blue denim and I did and these are the damaged skinny jean I'm actually usually a size 6 or 8 in Zara but these I liked the way they looked kind of loose like I don't know what it is when I have like a ripped jean I like loose loose like a loose fitted rip maybe it's because it's so hot outside I don't know but I ended up getting these in a 10 
and they fit really, they're, I actually might exchange them to get a smaller size, but they fit really loose on the waist and they're really, really skinny at the bottom. And what I love, my favorite part about them was the bottom, like how, like look how skinny these are, how frayed they are. I don't know. Anyways, that is all I got and going to Nordstrom to pick up perfume and a lip balm turned into another story. I stayed out way longer than I should have and I actually started to feel a little weak when I was in Zara. That was the last place I was at and now I'm headed home to lay horizontal for a long period of time. Okay guys, so I am really tired of vlogging on my phone so I'm going to go stop at Fry's or Best Buy to see if I can find a vlogging camera. And I just wanted to show you my outfit of the day. Of course, black shirt, baggy, tucked in with those new Zara ripped up jeans that I got. I ended up um, exchanging them for a size down. So these are the eights, which they're still really comfortable, like huge in the waist, but they just didn't look right being so baggy up here and then tight on my legs in the other size. So um, I sized down in those and my do you want you back? I have not. Sorry, my room is disgusting. I have not changed out of this bag. I've been obsessed. Then I'm also just wearing my Nike slides. So yeah, super comfortable. My hair is just up wet. I just showered. Um, I'm going to blow it out later and no makeup. So yesterday was totally unsuccessful trying to get a camera. Um, I went to Best Buy. I went to Fry's. Neither of them had the camera that I was looking for um, but I know I can order them online I just really wanted one yesterday so that I can have it for this vlog which I don't think I will today will probably be the last day that I'm vlogging today is me and Matt's four-year anniversary so I'm super happy about that and um, I'll show you guys my outfit and maybe some clips from today and yeah I just um, blue dry my hair and ran the curling iron through it it looks okay. I hate first day hair. Um, yeah, so it kind of looks like, I don't know. So I'm just wearing a gray t-shirt dress that I got from Forever. I think I showed you guys. Um, I'm wearing jean shorts underneath though because it's kind of short. And my Topshop little booties, which are super comfy. I was debating whether I should wear flat sandals or not, but I kind of liked a chunky shoe. And then this olive green faux suede, the most comfortable little loose like biker jacket. It's still the morning, so it's kind of chilly outside, but I know it's going to get really hot. I'm going to end up taking it off. I had to force myself to change out of my Jumanji handbag. I really wanted to take it, but I kind of want to be hands-free at a museum. So I'm wearing the Celine Nano with this cute little that my boyfriend's sister gave me. She's so cute. It looks like, like a little Japanese version of like Gidget from Secret Life of Pets. And yeah, my makeup is kind of, it looks like I'm wearing too much makeup right now. My mirror's dirty, sorry. But I don't know. And Matt is going to be here soon. <laughs> Are we going straight to the Cindy Sherman thing? <laughs> <laughs> 